Novo Nordisk announced a big partnership with an AI company today. What does that mean for the future of obesity treatment, type 2 diabetes treatment? Well, a little bit of background about AI. If you don't know much about it, just real quick fly over. It's machine learning, right? So it's it's supercomputers that have the ability to take vast amounts of informations, uh, information in, sequence it, and, and basically make sense of tons and tons of data in real time. So the advantage as it relates to the development of medications is really early on in the, in the uh, process of deciding what molecules might be good for what uh, diseases or chronic diseases, AI can assist in kind of taking all the information, all the data that's out there and hone in on certain uh, undiscovered compounds that might be beneficial to people. So Novo Nordisk is partnering with Valo and Valo is a AI company that specializes in the early, early conceptualization of, of cardiometabolic diseases. So think a cluster of, of, of cardiac and metabolic issues like heart disease and type two diabetes. When these types of things are clustered together, it can mean uh, devastating effects on a person's health. So what does this mean? Well, this means that basically the discovery stage of these medications uh, will be exponentially faster, right? Because through machine learning, we can learn what treatments are, are being explored that are effective, what aren't being explored that could be effective, and really just helps the process of the early stage development of new treatments. You may remember a few months back, maybe not even if you follow the channel, you'll remember back a few months that Eli Lilly came out and said that they were partnering with a Chinese AI company called Extalpi. More and more, you're seeing companies like Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly, who've got a little bit of extra money to spend right now, investing in AI, which is really, really exciting. So let's just dream for a little bit about what this could mean for the future of treatments like obesity treatment and type 2 diabetes treatment. What you're looking at is the potential for the development of new GLP-1, GIP, glucagon receptor agonists uh, that are more effective for people, more effective for people with different kinds of conditions, perhaps help find new uh, therapies that people experience fewer side effects on or are likely uh, to experience fewer side effects on. You might be looking at uh, the AI helping assist with future delivery methods of these medications. Right now, they're once weekly sub-Q shots. There might be opportunities for other administrating, uh, other ways to administrate these medications to people, maybe more effective, cheaper, uh, more cost effective, easier to mass produce. Like you heard uh, Eli Lilly coming out talking this past week just about how difficult it is uh, not only to make a medication, right, to come up with a, a new uh, treatment uh, for a chronic condition, but to make sure that that treatment is available to the masses. That's almost the bigger hurdle to get over. And what gets me really jazzed is the idea of what AI could do to help uh, develop individualized treatments for people, like a combination of things, a combinations of medication, combination, bleh, combinations of medications that can be put together to help people treat, like I said, these cluster uh, of issues that they deal with. All in all, really exciting time to be following all this stuff. If you found this interesting, make sure you follow the channel for more information. And thanks for watching.